Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Meeple Station, and we are already in dire straits, and the episode has not even started. Feather is up on the comms and letting us know we are about to be attacked. Captain, the hostiles are coming back. Make ready, Feather. So we need to get our guards in gear and ready for attack. So let's go ahead and get the stranger here. He is a guard, and we will assign him to get his rifle ready. Loophole is, no, he doesn't have any good guard. So let's check, uh, I think Vacuum had some guard, yep. Assign Vacuum. The other one I think was Halibut, he's got decent guard. And I want a fourth guard, so Toothbud, you are going to be our fourth guard and ready for this next attack. All right, so everyone is assigned. We can go ahead and close out that, close out that. And I'm thinking we go with pillboxes for our next research. Uh, get our guards some good protection here. So let's go ahead and queue our guards up. And we'll go on to fast speed till the enemy shows up. So the guards are down here. So there's three of the four. I'm assuming Toothbud was out mining, so he'll have to fly in. I hear some shots somewhere. Hopefully he doesn't get killed or anything. All right, guards, stay here. I see the enemy coming in. All right, and they chase the first one off. I don't know why they keep going outside. They're clearly being told to stay right there at the rally point. I see two of our guards flying around. Looks like this guard is chasing one of the aliens there, maybe? I don't know. I can't tell. All right, guards, come on back. I see just the one. Looks like he's using the restroom. Good for him. I don't know what they're doing there. They're all just kind of flying around lost and confused, dazed. All right, so two of our guards are inside. Still no attack yet. I haven't seen anyone come in. Well, this is uh, the worst attack I've uh, ever seen. I guess that's the last of them, Captain. Uh, not even a single one decided to breach the ship. It's time to stop being reactive and start being proactive. Yes, I agree, sir. Hacksaw the engineer had an idea after the last attack that I took the liberty of putting to practice with their help. Let's hear it, Feather. We tracked the retreating trajectories of the boarding vessel after the attack and the last one and think we've correlated the origin of the attacks to the orbital position above the body Rungara A-E. Might do now that we know what to look for to send a scout out to that orbit and see what we're actually up against there. Uh, that's the best idea I've heard all month, Feather. Thank you, sir, but it was really Hacksaw's idea. I just gave them access to the sensor suit to see if it worked. All right, we're going to put Heather in the mission, or Heather, Hacksaw in the mission report for a commendation and more importantly, a big, big, big massive bonus. All right, I'm hurt. sure Hacksaw will appreciate that greatly. All right, sir, just as soon as you put the order in for the scouting mission, I'll put in motion for you. Thank you, Feather. All right, so we need to send out the Finch to scout out the uh, where this threat is coming from. So let's, uh, we got pillboxes starting to research here. Let's go ahead and make sure Halibut is sent back as our scientist. So do, 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 scientist, Toothbud can go back as a miner. Vacuum can go back into the kitchen and make us some fantastic meals. Except I clicked on guard again, there we go. And the stranger can go back out and mine for us as well. All right, so our meeples are back at work. Let's grab the Finch here and send it out to do a little scouting above Rungara A-E. All right, and away it goes. Goodbye, the Finch. So obviously, as we get ready here to set up the shield generator, let's go ahead and have Hexall start expanding this area. Um, I'm thinking expand it by two and then put that down like that. All right, good. So Hexall can start expanding that when we get ready for the shield generator. Let's see what else we need for the shield generator. I'm assuming it's under modules here. All right, and we're gonna need at least 10 titanium. We've got ample steel, plenty of battery cells, plenty of electronics, plenty of advanced electronics, and two computer cores. All right, so we need to go ahead and start producing some titanium. Let's go ahead and set the minimum at 25, and go ahead and click on minimum so our resources, or our uh, refiners go, go ahead and start smelting that titanium for us. Fantastic. Hey, don't forget to like this video if you like Meeple Station. Leave a comment if you want to see more of this campaign. 
If you can't believe it, this is actually episode number 11. We have been playing a lot with Meeple Station, but it is a uh, very interesting game to play. I like it so far, and it's a pretty cheap game on Steam. Uh, you can pick it up for, I think, like 15, 20 bucks. Not going to break the bank on it. You do not need a fancy-dancy computer. Uh, any potato of a computer can run this great game. So don't forget to check it out on Steam when you have a few minutes. Uh, as always, please also don't forget to comment down below on video quality, audio quality, uh, commentary quality. That is how I become better because I want to give the best content I can to everyone. So we've got a the Lokov Initiative trader here is here. And Feather is back as well. Captain, I've got Marimba on the comms for you. Put them through. Captain, this is Marimba. I've entered orbit of Rungra A-E and found the source of all our current woes. Let's have it, Marimba. There is a large ship in upper orbit here with several smaller ships docked to it. Ship may be too strong of a word, actually, sir. Really more of a pressurized pile of welded-together orbital debris. Marimba, how well defended does it look? The ship itself, it don't see any defenses at all. The problem lies in the smaller ships. There are two of the shell types that attack the station and a third of a different pattern my scanners are giving me very concerning readings about. It looks like some type of attack craft. Robust power signature and visible protrusions that look a lot like weaponry of some kind. This is concerning, Marimba. Wait one, sir. I have movement on the attack craft, Captain. It's releasing docking clamps and coming about. Get out of there, Marimba. I've already about faced and firing threats. Marimba, what's happening? No response. Marimba, respond. I had to run a vase maneuver, sir. The attack craft fired at me several times and moved to pursue. Thankfully, it's way slower than old Rungra Ahi here and broke off pursuit once I was out of their weapon range. Sir, the weapons they have on that ship could devastate our station. We can't hit them until Tooth One has some way to defend against reprisal from that thing. Acknowledge, Marimba. Get yourself back here safely now. You don't have to tell me twice, Captain. All right, and Feather's back as well. On that note, Captain, the Science Wing came up with an idea we were beefing up the power infrastructure on the station for. They haven't had time to work out the specifics yet, but they think they can make something of an energy field around the station that could send spend capacitor banks to negate kinetic and energy projectiles. Sciencey stuff I didn't really understand, to be honest, sir. Yes to that. I'll go look at the research right now. All right, so is this going to be our shield generator? Flashing objective. Yep, research and build a shield generator. So let's, uh, it looks like we got a little bit of the pillbox research. That's okay. Switch that over to shield generators. So we will get this back rocking and rolling as the finch makes its way. Hacksaw is expanding our area down here and what we anticipate being where we will build the shield generator. So that is good news. Um, did we trade with the Lokov initiative? No, I don't think we did. So let's go ahead and sell them all of our biomass. We will buy their fine meals and lavish meals as always. Titanium sells for quite a bit, 13. We can go ahead and sell them. Um, yeah, we'll hang on to it. Uh, cobalt ore, titanium ore, graphene. Let's go ahead and buy their graphene because we'll need some of that. Buy off their car. Ooh, their carbon's really expensive. Four. Jeez Louise. Uh, we'll sell them some vegetables. And I think that'll be about it. All right. Well, thank you for stopping by and trading of us. It looks like our reputation has hit 600. And our next rank is 800. So 200 more points. And we will get into the next reputation level. I haven't noticed the little thingy there switch uh, colors or anything. And I haven't really noticed any changes as we move up uh, these different ranks in reputation. All right, Hacksaw is out there building away. The Finch is back. Hello, Finch. Let's send you out. Oh, hold on. Let's try that again. All right, let's send you out on another scouting mission. So we can't scout that because that is the evil station. Uh, let's go ahead. I think there's still some debris out here we can scout. Yeah, okay. So go ahead and head out to Rungara A-G4 and scout and see what you can find for us, Finch. And away it goes. Goodbye, friend. Thank you so much for your help. All right, hacksaw has got quite a little area built over here. So that is good news. Let's see how we're doing on making titanium. 25 out of 25 titanium made. That is fantastic as well. well actually, let's go ahead and jump that up to 50. And we will set that as a new minimum. So we will go ahead and start making new titanium 
Actually, you know what? Because uh, is titanium ore used in anything else? I don't think it is. Let's go ahead and just set it at infinite. Why not? So they can go ahead and start making as much of that titanium ore as possible. Because it might, might as well. It reduces the, the amount of things we have in storage from two to one. All right. Our station is running around fantastically. Uh, let's see. A small change I made well, off screen. I got rid of the small science station here because this one is much more effective. And I went ahead and upgraded. There was a small storage here. That is now a large storage. And then I add another large storage there as well. And it looks like Hacksaw has finished building this area. That is good news. So let's go ahead and put in a bulkhead door. I'll rotate that into place. Thank you. And then let's also go ahead and put in a... Where is it at? Air vent. We can tuck our large air vent there. So that is fantastic. And then we just got to hook that up to O2. And we will run that all the way there. There we go. So now we will have that sealed off. Heaven forbid there's a decomp decompressurization area over here. At least then it'll be sealed behind that bulkhead door until it can be repaired. All right. So that is good. Oh, he is taking off. I was going to trade with him too. Darn, oh darn. Let's check out how the finch is doing. 10 seconds till it reaches the place we sent it to go ahead and do some research. It is exploring. That'll take it a minute. That is okay. Um, down in the comments below, let me know if there's any other games you guys want me to play. I, uh, you know, I love Meeple Station. Great game, like I said a few minutes ago. But, you know, looking for other video games to play. We did just start Surviving Mars, kind of another space game, especially with all the news of NASA in or the news of NASA landing the rover uh, Perseverance on Mars. In the first video for Surviving Mars, we have landed on Mars, and our rovers and drones have started to uh, set up a colony. Humans haven't quite arrived yet, but the colony is just about ready for humans to show up. All right, the scout ship, the finch is scoured, and it has uh, got some materials for us to uh, salvage and bring back home. So that is good for us. All right, how are we doing our research? Uh, 78 for shield generators. So we're almost there. That is good news. We can go ahead and plop a shield generator down here soon. Don't have that vent quite hooked up, so hopefully Hacksaw comes back and finishes that soon. We probably could put a teleportion, teleportation pad here if we wanted to. I mean, we got one down here. Um, I'm thinking we put one over here somewhere maybe yeah let's go ahead and build two teleportation pads i'm going to drop one right here and then we're also going to drop one right there all right and that allow our meeples to move around that this station a little bit more effectively i have noticed some of them are sleeping on the ground even though they're assigned bedrooms and i'm assuming it's just too far from their wherever they work to the bed to the kitchen and all that fun stuff so they can't make it between all that all right, so Hexall built the first one. He is coming down. I'm assuming he's going to build that one now. Fantastic. Um, this still isn't hooked up to air. So let's hook that up to air. O2. For whatever reason, that one didn't get built there. So we'll go ahead and drop that down. And let's go ahead and build. Uh, let's see, where do I want this to go? I'm going to want this to probably go there. And let's expand this one more tile backwards. Structure. Graded hall. And we'll extend that back. One more tile because I think... Let's see if we can actually bring it up. I think the... No, we can't bring it up. I think it's three in depth. I think it's similar. Well, it might not be the same as the, uh, the hyperdrive. Let's see, make sure our hyperdrive is charged. All right, fantastic. So if we need to run away... It is charged and ready to jump. We have some tr people here ready to trade as well. We will sell them all our biomass by the fine and lavish meals. Got 92 simple meals. That's quite a few meals. Diamonds are pretty cheap. Let's go ahead and buy their diamonds. And, ooh, we need carbon. Buy that carbon as well. Buy some graphene off them. Do, do, do. And uh, we can go ahead and sell like 10 titanium. And that will be it. So we are running out of carbon. We're not getting any carbon. So let's uh, let's turn the mining off the ice for a few seconds and find ourselves some carbon to mine. Ice, magnets, quartz. Do, do, do. One of these asteroids has got to have carbon. Here we go. Ice, magnetite, 
and carbon. So we will go ahead and start mining over there. That's a long distance away for our meeples to go mine, but it's okay. We need that carbon. All right, so that has been built. Hexel has expanded that a little bit as well. So we are getting nice and set up. The finch is back, so let's go ahead and offload whatever resources it found. Some aluminum, steel, electronics, advanced electronics, and some computer cores. Anything else? Nope. And then we're going to send it back out. That's glitched. And all the way over here. Do, do, do. And I think it's that one there. Debris detected. All right, the finch. Go find us some more stuff. Good luck and Godspeed. I'm going to add janitors to this door so they can keep this area clean. I'm thinking there might be some waste. Yeah, there's waste there. I don't know how it got there. But uh, now they can get in there and clean it because... For whatever reason, Feather does not see this as his own little dining room. He keeps uh, dining over here, and this is kind of why I set this up. So if anyone knows, uh, down below in the comments, let me know how to give Feather a private dining room, because that is like his one complaint, that he doesn't have any private dining area. Um, I thought I figured it out by bulkhead doors and doing all this stuff, but apparently not. That's okay. So it looks like they were able to clean up all that waste and that's no longer causing an issue. So that is good. Research is coming along swimmingly, 176 out of 200. So almost done researching the shield generators. And then I think, man, we got maybe improved botany so we can get fruit, which then will allow us to make lavish meals. Uh, so we can get that extra bonus for our meeples on food. And we'd probably go ahead and just build some... Uh, some of the fruit hydroponics, maybe a couple here, and then a couple over here, or something like that. I'm pillbox and then two fruit hydroponics. I don't know. We'll see. We will see indeed how we want to do that. We could also expand the station over there if we wanted to. I don't know. Don't know. All right. Let's check in on shield generators again. 198. All right. Research is complete. So we can go ahead and plop down our shield generator here. Um, let's go ahead and yeah, keep working on pillboxes. Shield generator. It is only too deep. Okay. So not as um not as big as I thought it would be. I thought it'd be bigger. I can hear all the jokes now. So that's okay. Um yeah, let's go ahead and put our shield generator there. And then make sure we extend our advanced power just one more square. So we got that. And hacksaw is coming over and finishing that shield generator. Alright, feather is back. <clears throat> the shield generator is online, Captain. We should be able to withstand bombardment from the attack craft now. Thankfully, there's only one. If there were more bombers, we'd probably need to build more shield gens to weather that kind of abuse. It takes time to fight. To, it's time to take the fight to them. I agree, Captain. I have a suggestion if you'll have it. Always, Feather. We know that our scout ship can outrun every ship we've seen that they have. Now that we have a station defense in place, we should send the scout back out with our best guard in the passenger seat and have them scope out the hostile vessel. Having someone with a mind for tactical thought there, they might not they might see a good plan of attack we would not have thought of. I know a good vice when I hear it. Thank you, sir. Once you put in the order, I'll facilitate the crew. I'll do that presently. Thanks, Feather. All right, so let's make sure our shield generator is hooked up before we send anyone out, and it is. So we now have plenty of defense for our little station here. The Finch is not back yet, that's okay. We do have someone to trade with. Let's go ahead and sell them all of our biomass, buy their simple and lavish, or excuse me, their uh, lavish and fine meals. And uh, it's got ship, and it's got some resources it's gonna bring back. Thank you, the Finch. Uh, we'll buy off your carbon. And let's go ahead and we'll buy your graphene. And let's buy, diamonds are kind of expensive. We're gonna skip those for now. And then we can sell you some, yeah, we got, sell you some vegetables. All right, so that is a nice little trade there. We do need to make sure we're getting some carbon here soon because we are consistently out of carbon and that is not good, not good indeed. Okay, pillbox research is underway. The finch is two and a half minutes out from its scouting mission. And then we'll probably put, I'm thinking the stranger back as a guard and send him with the finch so he can scout out 
the enemy for us. So everything is coming up for our meeple station. I'm beginning to wonder, should we put down, let's just take a peek here at power fuel. Oh, let's see, do we want to put another battery or power cell down maybe? Or do we put another transformer down? Consumes electricity and transforms it into advanced electricity. Um, or we could put another power cell down. Maybe we put another power cell down, but we're gonna need more batteries. So let's go here and make sure we're making batteries. What do we need for batteries? Electronics and graphene. Got plenty of electronics for sure. And graphene, we're gonna need carbon for, which we have no carbon. So we will need to make sure we're trading and buying as much of the carbon as we can. Let's see what our friends that are docking here have. They only got 14 carbon. We will definitely buy all that off them. <laughs> we're already down to two carbon. And then let's, um, diamonds are pretty cheap. So let's buy those diamonds, buy those electronics. We will buy all your battery cells. And is there anything else we want to buy? Uh, fine and lavish meals we'll buy. And then we will sell you our biomass just to set that cost off a little bit. And I think that will be the end of it. All right. Thank you for another fantastic trade. The Finch is back. So let's go ahead and assign stranger or the stranger to the guard position. And then let's get him in the Finch. So add a crew member, the stranger. So he will come down and board the Finch here any second. Shield generator is online. Is it over here in the stat bar? No, not really. That's okay. All right, the stranger used the bathroom and then I need you to get on the ship. There he comes. He's got a very important mission and he doesn't even realize how big of a deal it is. All right, so let's go ahead and launch the finch. Of course, the screen is bugged and then we will send it out here to scout Rungara AE in high orbit. And away it goes. All right. Shield generator is up and running with 100 of 100 uh, Cs per F. Um, is that, I don't know what that is. If anyone knows what Cs per F is, you know, leave a comment down below. Maybe I'll have to do some research here in a few minutes and see if we can figure out exactly what type of unit measurement of energy that is. Another trade partner coming in, and they have a new migrant for us. All right. The Meeple from the Lokov Initiative is petitioning to join your station. Last thing Bear remembers is eating an exotic fruit of some kind. He is a guard. It's only level five guard. Um, that, yeah, that really doesn't impress me, Bear. Sorry about you. But we will buy all your, God, only six carbon. We'll buy the carbon off you. And then we'll sell you some of our biomass just to help offset. And then we will buy your fine and lavish meals. We're getting a nice little stockpile of fine meals now, 40 left. Some lavish meals there as well. Um, buy that fish because we're starting to run low on fish. Man, we're running low on everything. I don't know what's going on. All right, the Rungarin threat. Tooth One Station, this is the Finch, over. This is Tooth One Actual, go ahead, the Finch. We're at the coordinates of the hostile vessel now, sir. There's nothing here. Are you sure, the Finch? I flew in on passive scan. Now I've done an active scan as well. Big scrap heat like that, we definitely see it on active. There's no one here, sir. Wait one, the Finch. Let me speak to the commanding officer. They definitely had the right coordinates, Captain. I don't... Ooh, so we got a... Uh, sounds like we got an attack coming in. Captain, we have a proximity alert within 50,000 kilometers of the station. Bring that up on the scope now. It's the scrap ship, sir. They brought the whole flotilla here. I have a separate sensor contact breaking off on an intercept course with the station. It's an attack craft. Captain, they'll be here any second. Alert the crew. Brace, 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 brace. All right. Good thing we got ourselves a shield generator. Hostile bombers inbound. And hey, look at that. Our shield generator is saving our bacon. Survived the bombing attack. So let's go check out the shield generator. 89, 90. So it looks like each time we get hit, we lose about five or so of those C's per F. Well, how's our advanced energy doing? Looks like our advanced energy is holding up very well. So hopefully our shield generator is able to withstand that as this bomber just lays into us. Oh, there's the bomber there. Did you see it? Let's see if we can get a better view of it as it flies by next time. There it is. 
It is just raining pain on us, but that shield generator. The bomber is on a return course back to the flotilla, sir. Status report. Well, sir, the science wing might deserve a bonus. The attack craft hit like a tank, but the shields held. Crew got banged around a little, but nothing too serious. Assemble me a boarding party of guards. Enough is enough. Aye, aye, Captain, right away. Your commanding officer starts to walk away with one of the instrument panels catches their eye. What is it, Feather? Sir, we're getting a big energy reading from the large hostile craft. Please don't have anything worse than the bomber. No, Captain. I got a huge enemy spike. Now the scope is empty. Come again? All the ships are gone. It would seem that our new best friends may have subluminal drives too, sir. Well, that's just marvelous. Run me a full spectrum sweep and make sure they're actually gone at least. Straight away, sir. Uh, Captain, I want to recall the Finch back to the station, but Rimba is asking to speak to you directly. This story just keeps going and going. Okay, put them through. Captain, is the station okay? Yes, Marimbra, we are all fine. You'll get the full debrief when you return. What did you need to speak to me about? Uh, sir, sorry. The the host through though the hostile flotilla wasn't here, I figured we might as well scan Rungara AE why we are orbiting it right anyways. Uh well we did and we've come up with some very anomalous readings, Captain. There is a group of artificial structures down there on the surface. Artificial structures? Well, sir, located along the rim of a large crater in the southern polar region, there is a group of 17 structures, not of natural origin, connected to each other via external corridors. There is a long shaft of some kind running all the way down into the center of the crater to a large mass of water ice. Any, is there any signs of life? I don't read anything like life signs on the scanner, Captain. The structures look to be in the quite poor repair. You're wondering if those things live there, aren't you? Exactly that, Marimba. I wouldn't bet on it. This place looks completely abandoned. In fact, with your leave, I'd love to go and have a closer look, sir. I don't know what. I don't know that it is abandoned, Marimba. No, but it sure looks that way, sir. Plus, I have the stranger along with me, anyhow, and the stranger has that has their trusty laser rifle and a healthy disregard for anything with ill intent upon us sir the stranger is caressing the rifle and grinning at me like a maniac i'm not too worried about it all right marimba but the first sign of any danger and you pull out of there immediately that's an order loud and clear captain we will call when i have something to tell copy that marimba be careful out Whew, that has been quite a bit. Uh, I think this is a great place to go ahead and end the episode. I We got a lot coming in the next episode. Make sure you guys come back to see what is going on in Meeple Station. In this episode, we survived the bombing attack thanks to our fantastic shield generator. Don't forget to like the video. Comment down below what you like about Meeple Station, what you do not like. Also, please, please, please let me know uh, on the quality of the videos, both content, you know, commentary, audio, video, things like that, because that is how I become better at making these videos. And lastly, please do not forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in, in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for stopping by, and we will see you in the next Meeple Station video.